y'all over here talking about how frog leg gonna give somebody coronavirus how about escargot hmm how about escargot these things look funny every time i look at them this part right here reminds me of a woman's vagina you know this part right here reminds me of a woman's puna puna you know it just looks you know sometimes even the labia area be looking all like this, especially when a woman is done having kids. You know, the the labia, the, the part, yeah, right there between, you know, the clay area, all that stuff be looking like that. So, you know, that's the only thing that disgusts me a little bit, but it tastes too good to not eat it and stuff like that. You know, I'm cutting it into little pieces. I'm going to season it and steam it and eat it just how I ate that frog leg. Frog leg corona. How how the how, how the hell those two go together? Those two don't go together. You don't know what y'all talking about. Okay, frog lives in the water all the time. So the booty is clean, the mouth is clean, the stomach is clean, that thing is breathing water. How could it give me coronavirus? Plus, that wasn't what y'all seen in most of the warning videos. Y'all seen some ugly burnt off bats with the teeth looking like yank. So it wasn't, you can't say that frog leg or snail is going to give me coronavirus. No, 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 How about people eating shitlings? Hmm? You got to clean all that, that pig poop out of that thing. Pig, pig is already a nasty animal. That's one of the meat I don't really like to eat at all. Not like it's in a taboo, it's a taboo for me, but... I find it difficult to eat pig, pork, you know. Even though certain stews in Liberia, we have to have like tokoki. It's a kind of soup with the stew that we cook. It won't taste good without putting some pork in it. But that's the only time you see me eating pork because I feel like pork is so nasty. It's so nasty. The things look so nasty. And when I think about how... You know, when white folks get like third degree burn and stuff, they use pig skin to do the skin graphing so that their skin can heal and recover. They use pig skin. So when I think about what pig skin can do for human beings, I'm like, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. When I think of the pig skin, I'm thinking, mm, it got me thinking about eating human skin too because, oh. That's what they use it for, you know? I mean, technology is great, and doctors are working miracles in them hospitals, but pig, oh my goodness, you know? <sighs> Listen, some of y'all, y'all too quick to talk about something being nasty without trying it. You should try it, because this, some of these very delicious delicacy, they're better than... GMO stuff, you know, they're better than, you know, it's like comparing a uh, uh, portrait chicken to like a uh, yard chicken, you know what I'm saying? Um, the chicken, where they put steroids and all kind of chemicals to make it grow big. You see them? You see them in their poetry? They're walking. They can't even say walk. They're butt licking. You know, they look so sick. Everything they just look and then they be dying too because they don't grow naturally. You know, it's almost like saying frog leg is better than all them stereo is it, is oh or it's it's like saying all that 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 chicken that got all the chemical in it is better than frog leg. I mean come on now. Come on now. Organic meat. Frog leg is organic meat. It it tastes better than those chicken. Alright? It tastes like yard chicken. Y'all should pay attention. I know y'all been reading the comments. Frog leg, escargot. Oh yes. In Liberia, we even used to eat crickets. Big, big, juicy crickets. Oh my goodness! We used to dig the hole. We were here going ching, 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 ching in the hole, and we would take the machete and stick, and we would dig that cricket out. The booty be so juicy. The booty is like butter. All we had to do is take the little wings off and the ugly legs off. And when it's dead, we just put it, just how you do bacon. Yeah. You put the frying pan on and just put it.
put it on there and let it fry itself. Just put a little bit of seasoning on it. That cricket be so good. It be so good. Y'all know what y'all talking about. Some of y'all need to try these other kinds of food. The other cultures eat, other nationality eat, people of other backgrounds and stuff, you know. Y'all be into Chinese food. Y'all be into Chinese food. I'm not saying anything wrong about Chinese food, but you know, honestly, Chinese chicken don't taste like chicken. It be so hard, you be chewing it, chewing it, chewing it, chewing it, and just keep chewing it. You just can't break up the meat. I'm like, this is not chicken. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't know why you're eating in a Chinese restaurant, eh? But you see frog leg and say it's not good. I beg you, yeah. I beg you. I beg you. If you can eat Chinese food, you can eat frog leg and escargot because half the time, y'all don't know what y'all be eating in them Chinese food anyways, okay? Sometimes I actually used to feel that the Chinese used to chase the geese on the street and kill them because geese be all over the place. Geese be all over the place. I feel like at night when when, when the city is sleeping, when everybody's sleeping, the Chinese people can set trap for the geese and catch them and kill them, then that's what, be, that's what they be calling chicken. But that's just me. That's my thinking. I haven't seen them do it, but that's my thinking because I'm like, geese be all over the place. They don't be scared of people, you know. I feel like that's what be in the food sometimes because that stuff don't taste like chicken. Or am I the only person who think or feel that way? It don't be tasting like chicken at all. But anyways, I'm done lecturing y'all. Let me see about eating my escargot and adding some frog legs. And I'm going to be looking more healthy than somebody eating steroid filled chemical chemically processed chicken and ground beef and stuff like that. Yeah, that's where some of the good skin is coming from, from eating frog leg and escargot and all these originally organic food. You know what I'm saying? They feed off of the earth. You know, they feed off of the earth. The natural habitations. They feed off of it. They're the most healthy food. I think chicken and overly processed meat and canned food and stuff like that. I understand. I understand. I understand. But you know the way I grew up? I just have to eat these things. That's what I'm used to. You know? So, it's all about how you grew up. You know? What you're used to eating is what you're used to eating. You know what I'm saying? I don't knock that, but you can't be knocking what I eat either. Good stuff. Good stuff. Very good stuff. <laughs>